you can now connect Harpa AI with webhooks and HTTP requests. So essentially, you can now connect Harpa AI with thousands of different applications that you like. So if you want to export your outputs or be able to build automations with Harpa AI, you now have the ability to do so. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a custom Harpa AI command and connect that command with your webhooks. And then you can also connect that with a variety of different tools and softwares. The first thing that you need to do, if you don't already have Harper AI, you need to download the Chrome extension. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. Once you have the Chrome extension enabled, you want to hit the slash icon and that's going to show all of the commands that were created by Harper AI. As you can see, there's a bunch of really good pre-made um, templates or commands in which you can choose from. You can choose from productivity, control, marketing, SEO, copywriting, learning, recruiting, and so on. But if you have a custom use case and you want to connect that with webhooks, you need to create your new command. Command. So hit create command and now we're going to give a title to our command. You can also add a description but for this example I'll be keeping this blank. Next up is going to be the prompt in which you'll be using. So for this example we want to create a blog post audit command. The prompt that we've used is to do a comprehensive SEO audit of this page, extract the main keywords, related keywords, LSI keywords, topics and outlines of this page. Be sure to add your parameters because this is what's going to tell the AI what content it needs to read to give you that output. And because we're trying to do an audit for full web pages, we're going to slice this to chunks. So when you select that, the AI will read the content in chunks and then give you outputs. The reason why this is really good is because if we're using GPT 3.5, the older model, then it doesn't have a long context window. But if you are using the 16K model, you should be fine. But again, some web pages can be very long. So in order to make Make sure that you're able to read all of the content you want to hit slice to chunk so if you are um, doing audits of web pages or youtube summaries of transcripts then you want to go ahead and slice that to chunks or anything that's long in text so this is our first step the second step in which we'll be adding is the navigate step and we actually need to make this number one because this is going to be the page in which the ai will read and then it's going to perform the prompt so the page needs to be first and then the prompt needs to be second so for this page what we can do is we can enter our target url and if we leave this blank then it will just um, run it on whatever web page that's opened but if you wanted to make sure that it's reading that web page then you can just go ahead and enter that target url if not we can leave this blank and every web page in which we open um uh, harper ai will be able to extract or run that prompt we've added in the page or the target url now let's add in our last step which is going to be request so this is going to send all of the outputs that we get from harper ai into our web hooks if you haven't used webhook before it's very easy to get started just head over to webhook.site and on the main page you'll be able to see your unique url so you want to copy that url we're going to head back over to harpa ai and i'm going to paste that url so now our webhooks is going to be connected with harpa ai so now that we've completed our um, command here we should be good to go so we can save this and if you want to run this we just click on the blog post audit and as you can see, it is going to automatically start running. So it's gathering the keywords, as we mentioned, it's gathering the topics and the outline um, from this specific web page. So this is the response that we got back from Harper AI. We get the main keywords, related keywords, LSI keywords, topics, and so on. And if I head over to webhooks, I can see that that query has been um, recorded into our webhooks. We see the main keywords, related keywords, fashion and clothing and so on so we see that the connection did work and we are able to automate our outputs from harper ai into our web hooks so you also have the ability to log in through your http if you would like to do that type of authorization you can do that as well but as you can see it's very simple for you to first create your own custom command using Harper AI if you don't really like any of the pre-made um, commands, but it's also very easy for you to set up automations. And now you can connect Harper AI's output with thousands of tools and softwares. As I mentioned earlier, if we were to remove the URL from the navigate section, then any URL in which we go on on Google, it will take that URL and use it for the request in which we created. So for example, let's say I wanted to use that blog post audit on this web page. Once I click on that, it should be able to work automatically and to be able to give us the same outputs that we got back 
um, from the other websites, but it's going to be specific to this website. So as we can see here, we get a breakdown of the website. We get some keywords and things in which we can include within our article when using our blog post audit custom command that we created. So that's how you can create your own custom command using Hopper AI and connect that with webbooks and thousands of applications. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Most importantly, I hope that you learned something new. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Till next time, stay well.